this is uh, DTEC from Samurai Aquatics, an outdoor decor store. And we, in the last video, we prepared uh, we prepared this uh, bench for basically finishing it up. So now what you can do is uh, when you go to shading or in your layout tab, you delete one of the materials. And in the other one, you can delete the texture. So that's, this is all you have. And also you can go in your shading tab to world and now delete your lighting because you already, you already got this and you don't need the lighting inside here. And that takes up files. Then you go to your orphan data. So in your layer tab, you go here and you go to orphan data and you go and delete everything that's here left from the building left from where you were working so you have the other all your lighting and your textures they're all here and i guess you can delete the brushes as well i'm not sure if it actually matters that much so then you can go to your blender file and here you can see there's still lots of images so you want to delete all the ones that are not your UV map. Now, if you delete your UV map, you'll see your colors will disappear. So make sure you don't delete that. So now all you have in this, uh, in this um, file is just your UV map, which is, as we can see, is 177 kilobytes and just your bench. So this is very good. So now we go back to our view layers now one thing you should always do um, is control a and all transform this is required and make sure your bench layer is selected so all transform and it will put everything in the middle this is the only way to hand it file so this is step number one uh, step number two and this should be probably done before everything is when you go when your layer is selected you go to your the viewport and you can put face orientation just make sure everything is blue if for example um, let me just put one file uh, and and it's inside out and it's showing red um, like this you have to select that part or whatever parts that are red uh, or like and you can go to mesh normals and flip but also you can select everything and go mesh normals and you go uh, rectangles outwards and it'll fix it now make sure your mesh also is not broken anywhere because if you have a hole or a, you know some vertices you will see red like over here but i think i think that's just ah is that an issue <gasps> look at that I have no idea how that happened. Hmm. I don't see it here. Maybe it's just a angle. All right. Anyways, let's let's pretend that never happened. So, so here's our bench. We check that all normals are outwards. The object is on the floor because we made sure it is. Now, if the object is not on the floor, maybe we'll do some detailed video about that later because it was actually very hard to find how to do it. Uh, next, one thing we can do is uh, you can go to File, Clean Up, and uh, Recursive Unused Data Blocks. And that's sometimes, you know, cleans things up. So that should be pretty much it. Uh, what else we have? Oh, now we go to exporting. So you're going to have to export this. Make sure, again, external data. Make sure this is on. You need to have this on and save the file. And this will be your uh, ready file. So now you can click these off. Like, for example, I sometimes put an X next to the files that are not finished yet. So this one's finished. And it's ready and now you can take this uv map and move it outside your folder so now you don't need it you know that it's already uh, basically if this is not on that it needs to read from outside if it's on 
then you can remove anything from your folder because the file has everything inside of it so now we go save external data and oh sorry export and you go to gltf and here you make sure we have embedded gltf selected and here it is bench zero gltf and also uh, you can export it if if the file is too big uh, now let me see the what the requirements are again uh, pa -pa -pa -pa. so in the requirements we have file size maximum one megabyte no minimum a uh, minimum 300 kilobytes so if your file size is too small you can always take your um, take your um, UV map and you know in Photoshop or somewhere and save it or resave it here uh, rebake it and save it as, as a higher quality that's easy uh, and lower let's just see what happens so we export it and here's the file uh, why isn't it opening okay so here's the file and it's 336 kilobytes perfect just like magic okay so now we have this file we can upload it and we have to do the same process for each one of the other ones and make sure we're in the requirements so for LOD zero we have to be under between you know 150 and 500 kilobytes and for the LOD 2 800 to two, uh, 70 to 250 kilobytes so, so now another thing you have to do for before you hand it in is you have to give in dimensions I think so uh, usually I do it not not the best way <laughs> but I would make a cube uh, and move it up one meter so it's exactly on the floor <gasps> wait my my bench is not on the floor okay so here that's a good example we have an issue here and we have to place it right on the floor before I used to do it is <laughs> I used to take a cube and put it uh, actually it's a good way too right now uh, for this if you have the cube and it's right on the floor you can just cut off the bench and uh, well i guess we'll learn it this way so in your object mode you select the bench you go to uh, boolean you select the cube uh, make sure it's different and you press apply and when you remove the cube everything is cut off at the bottom and now it's perfectly on the floor now we have to do control a again and all transform remove the cube go to orphan data make sure we remove this mesh and it's back to normal and again control a just in case there so now the file is over, we have to ex export it again. And you have the file. And usually I go and I check ag again everything, even after I save it. I would go to shading and make sure in my object tab the texture is uh, roughness one and everything how it should be. So I guess that's that, unless I forgot something. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. And uh, please remember this is my first ever tutorial. And <laughs> I might have mixed up some words. So please don't, don't, get, don't get too frustrated with me. Thank you.